This video is sponsored by the fine folk over at SCD Keys. On this channel, we're always talking about saving money and getting great deals, and that's what you can do by picking up a $50 PlayStation Store card from SCD Keys. If you head over to their website, link is down below, and search for a $50 PlayStation Store card, you'll find it. Go ahead and add it to your card, and use our specialized promo code GC3 to save 3% on your order. That'll bring the cost of the card down to $46.64. You can check out and choose your method of payment. Your key will show up on your account, and boom, just like that, you got a $50 PSN card a little bit cheaper. Not only do they have great deals on PlayStation Store credit, they also have Windows 10 and other software heavily discounted, and you can get great deals on those as well. Again, check out the link to SCD Keys in the description box below. We've got a ton to go over in today's video. One PlayStation Store sale ends and two new PlayStation Store sales take its place. Yes, the PlayStation Store pick sale ended today, but we've got two new PS Store sales. While not as great as the PlayStation pick sale, there are some highlights and some games I would recommend you to have your eyes on and maybe pick up. So I'll be taking a look at that. On top of that, we've got the confirmation of a brand new PlayStation 4 JRPG, a remaster that's been rumored a little bit. But now we've got the official confirmation, the release date, and the fact that it will be digital only, which might be a little bit disappointing to some of you guys. Speaking of JRPG remasters, we already knew The Last Remnant was going to be getting a remaster, and now we've got a brand new trailer for the game comparing the graphics on the PlayStation 4 versus the Xbox 360, and you'll notice that there is quite a bit of a sizable difference, so it's good to see that game is seeing a big remaster, and I've been saying for a little bit that that was a game that deserved a second chance at success. Speaking of new games, we also got the announcement of a brand new PlayStation 4 horror game, so I want to take a look at that, and we've got an update on how how Spider-Man is doing on the PlayStation Store, and a lot of people are taking a look at the ratings of the game, and that does tell a bigger story than you might think. More on that at the end of this video. First, let's go over both of the new PlayStation Store sales. Again, not quite as big as the PlayStation Pick sale, but some nice deals nonetheless. First up, we've got the Warner Brothers sale, which will be running until September 25th. A lot of the major Warner Brothers heavy hitters, including some awesome deals, namely Batman Return to Arkham is down to $7.99. I believe that's a new low for that game. That is an awesome deal. You get Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. That's $4 a piece for those titles, and those are really good games. Arkham Knight is also on sale for the same price at $7.99. However, if you're just getting into Arkham, I would say start with Return to Arkham because those are the first two games in the series. You get two games, but Arkham Knight is definitely a good game at $7.99, and if you already played the first two titles, then definitely by all means give it a look. There is also the premium edition available. That is quite a bit cheaper at $13.99. However, it does include quite a bit more content, so that might be a good buy as well. Dying Light, the base game is 30% off for $13.99. That's a pretty good buy as well. Unfortunately, it's just Dying Light, the base game, and they don't have Dying Light, the following enhanced edition on sale that is a little bit of a disappointment but still the base game for $13.99 is pretty good and given the fact we are coming up on the release of Dying Light 2 in 2019 now is not a bad time to check out the first game Injustice 2 is down to $21.99 Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor is down to $9.99 Shadow of War is $24.99 and then Scribble Not Showdown is also $15.99 and there are a couple of other deals for you to take advantage of all around some good offerings there as a part of the Warner Brothers sale the other sale isn't quite as great we have the pub party sale but there are are some standout games that I do want to recommend. Abzu is 40% off down to $11.99. That's a pretty cool little game. Last Day of June is 60% off for $7.99. That is quite good. Brothers A Tale of Two Sons, if you want a game that'll make you ball your eyes out, 80% off for $3.99. That's not a bad deal, but actually quite recommend that. Terraria, one of the most addictive games you'll find on the PlayStation 4, is available 80% off for $3.99. And then Payday 2 Crime Wave Edition is 50% off for $9.99. A couple of other deals as a part of the pub party sale. Will leave links to both of those sales in the description box down below so you can have a more in-depth look but i think i got the heavy hitters out of them moving on from that we've been talking about resonance of fate possibly being remastered onto the playstation 4 this was a pretty underrated jrpg released by sega last generation didn't get a lot of buzz personally i did play it and usually i'm pretty high on these underrated jrpgs but i have to say resonance of fate at the time i played this game back in 2010 i was a younger gamer a dumber gamer and honestly the gameplay mechanics were a little bit too complex for me to understand at this point i think i would have an easier time with the title and now it is confirmed to be coming back to the playstation 4 it'll also be released on pc and it's dubbed as the 4k hd edition now it is going to be a digital only release which is a little bit of a disappointment i think jrpgs is one of those genres that you do really want to get a physical release out there because japanese rpgs tend to cater to those gamers that might be collectors might like their physical copies of games that's just an off note i definitely understand as a more underrated title that the people that want to play this game are gonna go out of their 
their way, go to the PlayStation Store and download it. But would have liked to see a physical release. But nonetheless, we do have a debut trailer for the game, and that looks quite good. Again, a JRPG that wasn't really up my alley at the time that I played it. But let's hope when I give it a second crack on the PlayStation 4, it'll be a little bit better. I do remember criticisms of this game's storytelling, and usually with a lot of these JRPGs, the storytelling isn't the best. But let's just hope that Resonance of Fate can resonate. Ah, see what I did there with some of these gamers as it sees its remastered release on October 18th for PS4 and PC. Another monster about to strike. Freeze time. And I picked this one. This is a challenge. It's mine! <laughs> Dispense with the formalities. Hey, hold it! Who cares if it's real or not? What have we here? What have we here? Jean Poulet! At your service. There's just nothing like real meat! How sad. Being forgotten like that. It's your own damn fault. <laughs> but without that past, there would be no present. I've been chosen by God! Speaking of last generation JRPGs being remastered, we do know that the last remnant will be remastered onto the PlayStation 4. And we do have a confirmation that the game will be coming day and date west as it is on Japan. It'll be released on December 6th and once again will be a digital only release. It'll be available for $19.99. So I think they got the pricing absolutely right with this release. A lot of studios are doing remastered releases and what I think a lot of studios are getting wrong is the pricing. You see games like Burnout Paradise Remastered, $39.99 was a bit expensive on that. We see it already available for $14. $14.99 and not to crap talk Vanillaware because I absolutely love them, but some of their remasters are a little overpriced too. I mean, Odin Sphere being $50, Dragon's Crown being $50, that's a little bit excessive pricing. With The Last Remnant, you get it here for $20 and I think that's great. And the new trailer actually showcases the visual differences between the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 4 version, and it actually looks to be quite a sizable difference. At the time, The Last Remnant was already a visually pleasing game, but of course, it's been a long time since its original release. It needs to spin of its visuals if it wants to compete today, but I think with the pricing down, I think with the fact that this game is looked back upon a little fondly, and one of the main issues that people were very vocal with about this game was from a technical standpoint, well, opposed to the 360, now you've got the PS4 hardware, and those issues will be completely, completely remedied, and again, the fact that it is $20, great pricing on that, excited for this one as well, December 6th, that'll be releasing. We've also got another new game announcement. Silver Chains is a brand new survival horror game coming to the PlayStation 4, and we got a quick announcement trailer coming from Head Up Games, and it looks to be a pretty ominous game. The trailer only spans a little over 30 seconds, so it's not like you have a lot to work with, but here's the description of the game. After his car hit a tree in a stormy night, Peter wakes up in an old abandoned mansion somewhere in England. He can't remember why and how he got there, but soon he realizes that the house is not as abandoned as it seems. While trying to find a way out of the house, Peter has to uncover the dark secrets of what has happened in this place. Place. As he tries to find his way out, Peter discovers hints which indicate that he has already been here before. But by the time he's starting to put the pieces of the puzzle together, something evil has picked up in his trail. Silver Change is a first-person horror game with a strong emphasis on story and exploration. Search for clues within old abandoned manor to unravel the truth about the terrible events which have happened here. Solve puzzles to find out how you are connected to the mysteries of this place, but be careful, an evil lurks in the cold dark and it has already started hunting you. Silver Change is scheduled for release in 2019, a horror game that's definitely gonna get lost in the shuffle a little bit, but one I'll be following with close attention. And lastly, we've been talking quite a bit about Spider-Man on the PlayStation 4 and its sales numbers. We still don't have an idea of how this game is doing domestically. We know that it's killing it over in Japan. We know it's killing it over in the UK, but Gear Nuke has pointed out that this is the best-selling game on the PlayStation Store right now. The base game is number one, and Marvel Spider-Man The Digital Deluxe Edition is at number two. Dragon Quest XI is trailing at number three. NBA 2K19, a 20th Anniversary Edition at number four, and then the 
base game at number five. Now, the ratings you might think only tell the quality of the game, and yes, definitely, people that have rated the game definitely are speaking about the quality of the game. However, I believe you can only rate the game if you've actually bought it, so you can actually kind of use it as a pseudo barometer to see how this game is selling on the PlayStation Store and how much it's resonating with people. Right now, Marvel Spider-Man, the standard edition, has 4,752 ratings, while the digital deluxe edition has 3,269 ratings. Now, what does this mean in the grand scheme of things? Well, in comparison to God of War, which is a game that's been released since April, God of War has a total of 9,882 ratings, with the digital deluxe edition having 2,959 ratings. Now, given the fact that Spider-Man has only been out for a little over a week, those numbers adhere to very positive reception. But again, this is only a pseudo barometer. I don't know how much credence you can put towards this because it doesn't account for physical sales. It only accounts for those people that are going out of their way rating the game. However, Steam reviews have been a major thing. However, Steam reviews have been something people looked at to gauge the barometer of a game's success over on Steam. And I don't think it's too much of a stretch to judge how a game is doing over there. Again, to make a definitive conclusion, we'll wait to hear the official domestic numbers and I'm sure Sony will be touting them very soon as they are looking very, very positive. And that's going to be concluding this video. Again, we've got two PlayStation Store sales running right now with the Warner Brothers sale and the Pub Party sale. Resonance of Fate is officially being remastered onto the PlayStation 4. The Last Remnant is being remastered and it's looking great on the PS4. Silver Change is a brand new horror game and that'll be coming sometime in 2019. And based on some other metrics, it looks like Marvel Spider-Man on the PS4 is doing very, very well. We'll keep a close eye on that and I'll make sure to keep you guys updated because it does seem like a lot of you guys are interested to see how that game does from a sales standpoint as well. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.